Solar Power Bank with Wireless Charging The purpose of a power bank is to recharge battery-powered electronics when you're on the go. But even power banks need charging. Charging a power bank while you're traveling is not possible due to lack of electricity. Well, this solar power bank with wireless charging can be used when you are in an isolated area. wireless electric vehicle charging system. Electric vehicles have now hit the road worldwide and are slowly growing in numbers. The only problem electric car owners face is the unavailability of charging station and long charging hours. Let us check out this solar powered electric vehicle charging system. This system demonstrates how electric vehicles can be charged while moving on the road, eliminating the need to stop for charging. So using this mechanism, the vehicle, when it moves over the road, it does not need to stop for charging and it is charged continuously as it uh, goes over the road. So these coils are connected to a transformer, which is used to power them. How basically the system works is the solar panel, you can, as you can see here, is used to charge the battery using charge controllers. So the charge from the battery is converted to AC power using the transformer because for wireless transmission, we need uh, the power to be AC power and after the power is transmitted from the coils on the road it is received by the coil underneath the vehicle and this received power is again converted into dc so that it can be used to charge the vehicle battery so now let's move the vehicle over the track and as you can see as it moves over the road the power is transferred wirelessly to the circuit and uh, as you can see the box of the vehicle is uh, made to be transparent and the coil that uh, is mounted inside the vehicle is used to power the vehicle circuit and also show the voltage generated so here we can see the voltage that is generated received at the vehicle end as it moves over the road so this is how the system works e-bike speed controller system electric bikes are gradually taking over the fuel based bikes as it is more environment friendly let us look at this new system which controls the speed of an e-bike as per its throttle. So the throttle acts like a potentiometer, okay, which is the input of which is fed to the HTM32 microcontroller. And based on that, the controller will operate the DC motor. The controller will increase the speed. And as the speed increases, and the wheel speed increases. And we have a sensor here. It is an IR based sensor, which is used to measure the speed. The measured speed is then displayed on the OLED display using the STM32 controller. So let's increase the throttle. So we have increased it to the maximum. And now let's decrease it gradually. So as you can see, as we decrease the throttle, the speed keeps on decreasing until it reaches, reaches zero. Power efficient mini inverter project. Inverters are widely used in domestic as well as industrial environments to serve as a second line of source in case of power cut from the electricity utility grids. Let us check out this mini inverter project. Let's assume that we are facing a power failure and the inverter is off. So the load remains off. Now let's turn on the inverter. As you can see, the inverter converts DC to AC to power the load. Also, there is provision for charging the battery. The user simply needs to plug in the adapter here for charging the battery. Contactless switch for four load switching. Home automation has made life easy. Now everything is contactless. But for switching off the load, that has to be done manually. But with this new system, we can switch off the load without any contact. Induction motor for phase and temperature. For industries, three phase supply sequence is used, and knowing the phase sequence is very important. So, let us look at the system of protecting induction motor for phase and temperature. These are three transformer connections that we have shown for phase. 
So this was phase one. This is phase two, and this is phase three. So all the loads are on. That means the induction motor is basically will now turn on. And uh, suppose if any or one of the phase goes out, it is denoted by the blinking LED, which shows that. Phase two is out, and therefore the induction motor has turned off. Dual axis solar tracking system with weather sensor. Solar energy is renewable and will never run out, unlike other sources of energy. Let us look at this new dual axis solar tracking system with weather sensor. This system can increase energy by tracking sun rays from switching solar panels in various directions.